is the horizon. So that represents where the earth meets the sky. Earth, sky, earth, sky. Got it? Now, for you, we can figure this out simply by holding a piece of paper in front of our eyes like this. Well, that piece of paper or folder would work probably even better. Have more your folder? Your horizon line is where you see just a line. When you look at this folder, you just see a line. You see the top and the bottom of the folder. That's your horizon line. And it's based on where your eyes are in your head. Whether you're up or down. So that changes the horizon line. Whether you're seated, standing, on a ladder, that would change your horizon line. Now, everything that is above this line, you would see the bottom of it, right? Everything that's below this line, you can see the top of it. So let's use an example with the folder. If I take the folder and I hold it out here like this, and it's just the line, but I do this, I see the top, right? If I do this, I see the bottom, okay? So that's how we define horizon. And we agree on horizon. We agree that there are points beyond which you can't see anymore. So we're going to put those out here as well. So I'm going to put one point here and one point here. We're going to make an X. And that's where stuff disappears. Now, this particular system that we're doing is called two-point perspective. Because we have two vanishing points. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to draw something else up here that represents cone of vision. So your cone of vision works like this. And the cone of vision is where you can see things clearly. So we're going to kind of define our cone of vision. It's a little bit shorter on the top than it is the bottom. So if you take your fingers and you hold your arms out like this, and stretch them out as far as you can, wiggle your fingers, when you begin to see your fingers, that's the edge of that cone of vision. So just kind of pull them in until you can see them. Now, your vision this way is called peripheral vision, okay? Now, it's a little bit shorter on the top than it is the bottom. Why is that? Why, why do you think that is? Where's the most important information for you if you're moving in this room? What's on the floor, right? As long as you've got enough vision that you're not going to bump your head, the most important stuff is down here. And when the good Lord made your eyeballs, he kind of gave you more vision down this way than he did up here. Make sense? And that's kind of how this is, why this is drawn the way it is. So everything that's within this cone of vision, you can see clearly. Does that make sense? Now, there's another thing we want to talk about, just briefly, although we won't be demonstrating it in, necessarily in this drawing, and that is line of sight. What is line of sight? You got two eyeballs, and there's a line that comes right out the middle of your head, right here, straight out. And that line of sight is directly in the middle of your cone of vision, so that determines what it is that you're going to see as you turn your head. Line of sight. All right? So we want to draw everything that we draw within this cone of vision. If we get out here too far, it's going to be distorted. If we get up here too far, it's going to be distorted. So we're going to keep it in, the, in here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a vertical line like this. Okay? So that's a vertical line. Now we're going to take that line, we're going to say that line represents the edge of a box the edge of a box. So that's this edge. That make sense? Okay. And we know that everything that goes away on this side is going to go to this vanishing point, and everything that goes away on this side is going to go to that vanishing point. So we're going to draw a line from there to there. 